Clean surface, the amount of uh, accumulated surface. At the same time, um, I think we've heard both from Heather and originally with our finance committee meeting uh, in, I believe it was May, mm -hmm. uh, where we adopted the original budget and the uh, levy that teed off of that budget, that this is a fiscally sound uh, that the library will still have sufficient funds to operate now and in the future and um, is a good plan for the library. Um, so, um, I have a question. first of all, could, could I get a, uh, a motion yes. to uh, approve I ordinance? Motion to approve ordinance number 2017-2018-186. Yes, could I get a yes, second? second. On? Okay, it's been moved and second. Any second. further discussion on this? Yes. Uh, okay. So, as I read this, this is not an amendable ordinance given the publishing requirements. So, you know, any desire to change the number, we're kind of out of time to do that, as I read it. Is that about right? Well, no, I mean, you are at this meeting, that's why we have this meeting and this yeah. hearing. Legally, now's the time. If you, if you want to change something, you are, you are legally able to do so now. After you pass it, then you're not. So, um, I, I mean, and, when, and when do we have to deliver this to the uh, clerk? Uh, December the th third week of December. Mm -hmm. Third week of December. Third week of December. So legally, if We'd you have changed it now, meeting. you'd have to have another board meeting in December. Okay. Uh, and you would. Ha have to publish it. Yeah, I mean, we'd okay. have to notice things. Yeah. And yeah. Right. Do some of the steps that we're taking. Right. Or from the ad being posted, yeah. Okay. Right, which is why we try to do it in November in case a member of the public did have uh, a question about the levy amount and suggested that we change it or not. Uh, you still have that legal period of time to go back to the, t to the table and discuss it. Uh, that would require a finance committee meeting and another board meeting. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion is that we further reduce the levy by about what the operating surplus was in the last fiscal year, which was in the neighborhood of three hundred thousand dollars. Neighborhood of what? Neighborhood of three hundred thousand dollars. Three hundred thousand. Yeah, um, I think we've got. I think as our counselor told us, we can certainly have a lower levy, and it won't hurt us going forward. We can levy whatever we want in the next fiscal year, but I think we've got more than sufficient operating and a special capital reserve funds that we ought to cut the levy this year and maybe next year and go back to where we were last year. But we are already cutting it. We're already cutting it. We're already cutting it. Okay. And also, uh, so yeah. you're offering an amendment. Can you give, can you give me some sure. numbers on that? The general fund levy, you want to reduce it by what percent? I'd like to reduce this levy by $300,000. Okay. Is there a second on that amendment? Um, I don't hear a second from the member, so the member, the amendment fails for one of a second. All right, um, so back to the um, levy as it stands, which is a two and a half percent reduction from last year. Uh, it's been moved and second, and we've had some discussion. An amendment has been offered. Is any further discussion? Um, hearing no further discussion, um, uh, will the secretary please call the vote? Sure, Trustee Johnson. No. Trustee George. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Yes. Trustee O'Loughlin. Yes. Okay. The um, levy has been passed. Thank you very much, and thank you everybody for the work and attention that everybody has put in um, over the course of these months. Um, all right, so um, the rest of these, um, the, the next one is sort of a, a technical amendment. It, it says if <laughs> instructions to the clerk regarding to the levy, and it says that if there's any limitation, then you apply the limit to the corporate fund only leaving the other funds. The corporate is our general fund, uh, not to the audit. And that's what we're supposed to do, right? And that's what yeah. we're supposed to do. We adopt this every year. Yeah, and leave those intact because they have those, very Those specific. get intact, the, uh, right. So I will motion to and approve, oh, sorry. Small part. Go Resolution 2017-18-190. And I second it. 
So moved and seconded. Is there any discussion with respect to the instructions to the county clerk regarding the uh, levy that we just so adopted? This, so this will... When it, when it says leaving the other funds intact, what does that mean exactly? It means IMRF fund yeah. and audit fund, all those other Yeah, I know funds. about the funds, but it yeah. just means that the, so the 2.5% reduction won't apply to those? Is that, what is leaving the funds intact, yes. what does that mean exactly? Um, if for some reason they decide because of tax protests or any of the things that are that go on in terms of how they apply the corporate rates, that the number that we levy here mm -hmm. has to go down. Right. The funds under item seven, which is the IMRF, Social Security, audit expense, and levy, those funds stay the same, and it gets taken out of the the operating. The operating, the five four zero one one sixty five. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so that would go down, not the other ones. Right. So I think it's been moved and seconded? Yes. We have to do a roll call. Uh, yeah, roll. I think we have. Uh, it's Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee George? Yes. Trustee Wolf? Aye. Trustee McDonald? Aye. And Trustee O'Loughlin? Aye. Okay. Um, item 8, which is the uh, Lyra? which we had a presentation and made a decision to go with the consortium um, insurance. And this is a follow-up from that. Heather, do you want to talk about that, just what, what this is? It's, we, yeah, we, it's we just the it. official resolution, because you voted on it. Um, this just, but we didn't, we didn't have the official resolution at the time because you were making that decision. So it's, it's pretty much just. Did we even vote on it? You did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We already voted to do it, yeah. but we didn't have the formal language. This is that the they contract wanted us, that, that we want. They want us to sign part of our records with respect to this. Right. This is just you know because it obligates us for three years. It's the it's the details of the contract. Mm -hmm. Contract. No. Mm -hmm. So, so I get, I so should move, I get a motion? I so motion to approve resolution number 2017-18-191. Can I get a second? Second. Okay, we get a second. Any discussion? I know. Uh, no, no, I'm good with it. I just want to know. Um, so when will all this take effect with Lyra? Uh, November 30th. November 30th. Okay. Is there any further discussion on this? And if you need to get out of it. Okay. We're stuck with it for three years. Okay. But stuck, I mean, well, we'd have to pay always. out. They're always. We'd have to pay out. I mean, yeah, they, they, you're, they're out asking, for, they ask for a three year commitment. Okay. And, and that's the thing. I'm, have, has Roger like reviewed the, the contract that we're entering into with them, or will he? I mean, he will, yes. Okay. Um, we, Lyra is <clears throat> consortium owned. Right. So, like, all of those decisions are made, like, from a group of libraries, mm -hmm. of course. So, like, any um, any any sort of change in, in coverage or whatever is going to have to go before. I mean, that's the big difference. Right. It's going to have to go before the Lyra board and stuff like that. Right. Yes. But the actual commitment that we're, I just want to know what document is going to embody the commitment that we are making to Lyra with Lyra. Um, and what would be the terms of it? Because I got to assume you're committing to something for three years. I know it's it's a consortium to buy insurance. We're agreeing to become part of this consortium, but what actual document controls our relationship with Lyra? Sets forth the benefits, the requirements, the costs. There's got to be something. Is it the contract yeah. and bylaws document it's, they reference, which probably isn't in this packet? But. Right. I well, I signed the um, oh, what do they call it? The letter of agreement. Okay. Yes. So I did sign that. Okay. Once after you passed it. Right. Then I went ahead and signed that. So okay. maybe that's what you mean. Right. But what? Yeah. I think that wouldn't be a bad thing for our attorney to look at that. Okay. You know. 
I agree. Considering we're making a big change in the way we've done business up till now as far as our insurance requirement, and we're making a, a commitment for three years. I'd just like to know like, what are our terms and that kind of thing. I think that's an excellent suggestion. That's really sure. Good. So, great. Uh, subject. And I would anticipate there might be something besides a letter of agreement that just. I think they referenced that. The, there's like a contract and bylaws document they right. referenced, which is we, nice. It's a, it's a big one that we saw last right. time, I thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. Although that one sort of establishes the consortium. And then well, the assertion we received, enters into the agreement. No, we haven't received our policy yet. That's the right. thing. We don't, I mean, we need to pass this first right. in order to do this that. Enters, this gets us part so, of the group, but then the group enters into the contract. Correct. So we want to see right, both right. of those documents. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We have to all right. <clears throat> yeah, so, I think that you should look at those. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have a motion on the floor to adopt um, resolution number 2017-18191. Uh, it's been seconded. Uh, do we need to do a roll call on this yes. one? Okay. Okay. Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee George. Aye. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. And Trustee Olaf. Aye. Okay. Um, this is a renewal of our custodian contract, uh, the firm that comes in and provides our custodial work that has been doing work for us for many years, five, five years. years. Um, this is a re renewal of the contract, no fee increase, no, no um, and apparently everybody is happy with their work. Yep. So okay. um, I have motion to approve the having complete cleaning company serve as our custodial um, services for another year. At the rate of four thousand four hundred ninety-five dollars. Yes, okay. yes, per month. Per month. At the rate of forty-four hundred ninety-five dollars per month. So it's been moved. I second it. Second it. Um, this is also money. Um, Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee George. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Aye. Trustee McDonald. Aye. And trust you often. Yes. Okay. Um, per cramp capita grant application. Um, they've simplified it. Yeah, we still haven't received our money for this year, yeah. by the way. Oh. <laughs> uh, and we're Just to FYI. <laughs> Nobody has. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And it's not a huge amount of money, is that right? No, it's, it's about $30,000. $30, and we have to do certain things to get it. Yeah. One of it's which was... Good. I think it's a lot less this year. That we're receiving? Well, we haven't gotten yeah. it from last year, so yeah. it doesn't right. really matter. <laughs> right, less than zero, right? That's it. Yeah, yeah. but we should... Yes. Um, shall we... So you want to move that... Move to adopt the per capita grant application, and that we reviewed all the trustee facts. I did that. Was and and doing attending the or the safety thing was that part of it? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I I did that. I will start a motion to, to approve this. The can I get a second? A second. Uh, any further discussion? Just. Clarification. I probably shouldn't do it now, uh, but it, it, did we all have to do an online study, or did just one of us? Originally, I think one of us had to do right. that. We were all everybody. supposed to. Right. But then you all review the, the chapters. You're, you're, you're supposed reading. to all review right. this chapter. But an online thing that was just one of us had to. Yeah. Right. We can all do it if you want to. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. I, mean, I, I just wasn't planning super on doing a couple of them. So yeah. You know, yeah. I, it yeah. was. Um, it was informative. It was worth the time. Yeah. Just I want to check it out. And you can do it in the comfort of your own home yes. with a cup of coffee. <laughs> I just can't talk to any trustee about it's it so except for the board meeting. Right. <laughs> That's the value of the um, real estate. So Mr. could we get a roll call on this one? Oh, uh, sure. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee George? Aye. Uh, trustee Wolf? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Aye. And Trustee Olaf? Aye. Okay. We want to roll here. Uh, office furniture. Tell us about the office furniture. Well, first of all, my apologies. I didn't have the quote in, on Friday. I received it on Monday. Um, we've been working on getting this quote as quickly as possible. It is in your folders. Okay. Um, basically, we need to... Um, as you know, we've been trying to uh, grow our services and expand some staffing in order to target certain areas that we want to um, prioritize. 
But uh, in, addition, in addition to personnel funds needed for that, uh, you really need a place for them to sit. <laughs> so uh, we don't really have as many staff stations in this building. It's um, staff areas are very, very tight. So um, this proposal is for two more staff stations in a, the administration wing um, over along the north wall. Um, so right outside the uh, Sarah Beth's Community Services Office. Mm -hmm. And so the quote for the furniture is the 8,165.48? Correct. Okay. And that's basically to create two carrels, or are they freestanding offices? There are two, yeah. We wanted it to match what we currently have. And so they're carrels? They're, yeah, no, they're, um, they're flexible. They have yeah. the... Yeah, exactly. They have the um, casters. There's the picture. Okay. Yeah. I will so motion to approve this, but I'll also motion that, that it's not to exceed $8,500 because there, it's an estimated tax, so that way they we don't... You shouldn't have to pay for tax exempt. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I know. I just wanted to make... You're right. There might be some additions. Just, so just yeah. to, if that's okay, I'll, I would motion it uh, to approve it. it, it no, it's not to exceed $8,500 for the additional uh, workstations as proposed. And is that per workstation or is that just total? Total. total. Yeah, I mean, 